I've asked ChatGPT to create a PowerPoint presentation and this is what it came up with. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps so that you don't have to create PowerPoint presentations and ask ChatGPT to do it for you instead. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pascal and I'm an IT consultant based in the Netherlands. I use AI on a daily basis so that I can show you how to let AI do your work so that you can save time and do something fun. Instead, we all know that moment that we're being asked way too late to create a PowerPoint presentation and that we have to spend our valuable free time to create a slide deck. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to create PowerPoint presentations with the help of AI. So let's get right into the first method. So for the first method, we're going to need ChatGPT and a Office 365 subscription. If you have to make a PowerPoint presentation for your boss, client or school, then you probably already know what you're going to present about. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the topic how posting videos on YouTube can increase brand awareness. A good presentation tells a story and builds up towards the end. And because not everyone practices storytelling on a daily basis, we are going to ask ChatGPT to come up with a PowerPoint outline and script for our presentation. So let's open up ChatGPT. I've already prepared a prompt, which is help me create a PowerPoint presentation script of five slides that tells the audience how posting videos on YouTube can improve brand awareness. Use real facts and numbers when available. Implement storytelling tactics to build up to the CTA on the last page that says create your YouTube channel today. So let's hit enter. And as you can see, ChatGPT already comes up with a script for our video. It even tells us what to say on which slide. And it is also going to implement storytelling tactics in a way. All right, so ChatGPT is finished. Let's go through it. It mentions the first slide, which is the power of YouTube. It mentions the second slide, storytelling through YouTube. Slide number three, magic of video content, reach and engagement. Or SEO and YouTube being discovered. And the last slide, the call to action to create a YouTube channel today. And even though ChatGPT did a perfect job on this, we're going to do something that not a lot of people know that you can do. You can ask ChatGPT to be a critic of its own work. So in order to do that, let's use the following prompt. I want you to act as a critic and look at your previous output. Tell me what you would change and why, and then give me the final script. If we tell this to ChatGPT, it will look at its own output as a critic and then tries to improve it. So as you can see, it mentions the use of data, the relevance and the emotional appeal that can be improved throughout the script. And it's already going ahead and improving the script for me. All right, so now we have the final script in our hands, but this is way too much information to fit on a PowerPoint presentation slide. So now we're going to ask ChatGPT to list the most important highlights so that it will actually fit on a PowerPoint presentation slide. And for that, we're going to use the following prompt. Please list the most important highlights per slide so it fits on the presentation slide. Really straightforward. And as you can see, it's already listing each of the highlights per slide. And of course you can keep the script as well, but when you actually give the presentation, it is much nicer when there's not a lot of text on the screen. All right, now for the fun part. We are going to ask ChatGPT to give us this presentation in a way that we can import it into PowerPoint. For that, we are going to use something that is called VBA, which means Visual Basic for Applications. This is basically a scripting language for Microsoft Office applications. All right, so in order to do that, I've already prepared a prompt. So I'm going to ask, I want you to write me a VBA code for a five slide PowerPoint presentation about the above information. Keep it short and concise and do not use placeholders. And it is important to mention that it might just take you a few tries because ChatGPT doesn't always come up with the right response right away. Sometimes it mentions that it doesn't know how to write VBA code or it just gives you a short example version and then you just need to tell it that you want the full version of the presentation instead. But most of the time it gets it right away. All right, so we got the code from ChatGPT. Let's copy it and open up PowerPoint. When we open up PowerPoint, it's also important to open up a blank project and in PowerPoint, we need to locate the tools tab for which on Mac, you need to move your mouse all the way up and then click on tools, 
go to macro and then click on visual basic editor on windows you can basically press the windows key and function 11 so now we just need to create a new module and paste in the code right click the presentation that you have open presentation 2 in my example then go to insert and then click on module right here in module you're going to paste in the code that we got from chat gpt and then just basically click on the little play icon at the top all right so as you can see it created the powerpoint presentation which is called presentation 3 in my case which start with the first slide which is called the power of youtube the second one is storytelling through youtube creating connections then the magic of video content reach and engagement then seo and youtube be discovered your call to action create your youtube channel today these are all the points that ChatGPT came up with. And as you can see, this is not the final product. So let's clean it up a little bit. I'm basically removing the extra bullet points. It is actually crazy that ChatGPT got us this far, but this is not presentable to our client yet. For that, we're going to use the AI built into Microsoft PowerPoint 365 called Designer. So now we're going to locate the Designer, which is always at the Home tab, all the way at the top right. Let's click it. And now the AI will come up with different templates for your slide. So let's see if there's something that we like. Well, most of these actually look quite basic. So let's say that we like this one. So we click it and it applies it directly. Now we're just going to do that for all the slides. All right, so I applied a few designs and it's actually starting to look good. You might have to tweak it a little bit to make it more consistent, but this is a pretty good starting point. So that's it for the first method. This presentation has been completely made by AI, which is absolutely crazy, right? But wait, there's also a second method that I want to show you. This second method only works with Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. So for this second method, we are going to copy the highlights that ChatGPT gave us. It's very nice. ChatGPT actually has a copy function which you can use. And then in the Google Chrome browser or in Microsoft Edge, go to Microsoft Online and open up a blank document. Here we are going to paste in what ChatGPT gave us. So I'm just adding the title to our document and I'm going to remove the words slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, and then include page breaks. Then go to file, click on export, and then click on export to PowerPoint. And now we can select a theme for our presentation and this theme will be applied to the whole presentation. So it's far more consistent than selecting it for each slide individually. All right, so let's pick a template from this list and see what the presentation will actually look like. It is currently exporting the document and preparing the slides for us. And we're greeted with a big yay, your PowerPoint presentation is ready. So let's open up the PowerPoint presentation. And as you can see, the whole PowerPoint presentation has been created. It might take you a couple of tries, but in the end, it is actually worth it. And if you don't like the final outcome, don't worry, you can always change the text or use the designer to come up with different designs for you. I wouldn't say that we can leave a winning PowerPoint presentation in the hands of AI just yet, but it is a good starting point and it will definitely save you some time. If you want to see more creative ways to use ChatGPT to make your life easier, make sure to check out this video over here. And then I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you're still here. So let me tell you a joke. Why was the computer late to work? Because it had a hard drive. <laughs>